What is up everybody? This is Justin Wong and I want to talk about a topic of just baiting out an opponent. So this is a strategy that I personally call putting putting somebody in the box, right? It's called the box. And what it is is that, you know, you see a lot of top players and they're so good at with punishing, right? And why is that? Why is why are they so good with punishing and not everybody else is not? So I don't know if other players have like thought about it or categorize it but i look at it as that if i do a specific situation i put you in this crouching block situation and i call that the box i box somebody like real in the game and what i mean by that is like if you're if i do a string and you're crouch blocking afterwards right there's like this moment where we're right here so eventually what if i stepped in right you think you're gonna you, you in your mind the opponent's gonna like oh i'm gonna press a button and the button's gonna hit but that's when i step out and the button whips right in front of my face so many times where i was able to trick the opponent thinking like they were in that proper range of their normal to like kind of tag me or put me in a block situation so they get their turn but that's when they whiff and right in front of me and i can whiff punish back i've been doing this i would say since the third strike days this is just the classic strategy that i thought about and i'm pretty sure everybody just subconsciously thought about as well and it's something that's really useful so let's say you're going let's say if you want to practice on how to use the box or how to learn the concept um let's say take colleen for example colleen has really good like normals like what crouching forward standing fierce so when or you could pick a different character but i would i would say anytime you're practicing against a specific character just try out their buttons stay just stay in a standing position a crouching position and press all their buttons and look at their ranges right and once you could gauge the range of like how far this normal goes compared to the other normals that's when you could box somebody because one normal can be their, can be their farthest so for example right colleen's farthest normal is probably in v trigger standing heavy punch right so what i would do is i would block i would um put myself in a position where standing heavy punch will literally whiff in front of my face right and then after that just all your all her other normals won't reach won't reach you so you can already gauge that her that their best normal is the normal that that's their to go normal right karen standing medium kick cammy standing medium kick right so a lot of these normals are like Kind of like their to go normal to throw out after a block situation but if you could bait them out because you put them in a box that's a pretty much anticipated with punish on your part and you get a full combo momentum on your side street fighter five it up so forth and so forth so that's something that i really practice on i know the ranges on all the characters obviously the hardest character to do it on is definitely dawson because he has full range normals but any other character that you like kind of play footies like this and like that you can definitely tag it, right? So it's definitely something that's super strong. And how to use it in a match? Well, a lot of times let's you're doing a position where you're doing a block string, doing a frame trap, and eventually your block string is gonna end. But there's sometimes I would like to leave myself in a plus situation where they still can't really press a button. So let's say for Karen, I do standing light kick, crouching medium punch, standing medium punch, right? I'm still plus there, but my turn is ended, right? I don't cancel into the into command dash into shoulder for the the block string to put myself in a minus two situation. I rather just press the medium punch, push them out, and then now, like I'm still plus, but I can't really get anything afterwards. So what I do is I walk in, and then walk out. And once I walk in, I make the make the opponent think they can press a button there. And then when I walk out, boom, button comes out. And now obviously this doesn't work every time, but you can mentally put people in these situations where they think that they're safe. Like give them the option to like, oh, press a button here and there, right? So that I would say that's that's how you would practice using the term the box. And there's also situations where people know that, but you could put them in a moving box, right? And what I mean by moving box is think about it in the same situation where you have this box right here, but they're now they're moving back and forward. So let's say if you're fighting an opponent and they move back. That means you move forward. But if they move forward, then you move back because you're still keeping the same trajectory, the same distance of the box with, you, with your with, when you're matching your movements to their movements. So that's how I really like say pretty strong at with punishing the opponents and 
just like kind of like able to like use my neutral into my favor. A lot of people say, oh, your neutral so good. And that's because I put people in a box, you know, not no space gem box where they actually can't do anything, but more of just like a, a mental, a mental box where I'm like, okay, these are the normals and this is how far it goes. So hopefully you guys understood that. Maybe you guys can practice it. Please let me know in the comments below if you understood all that and you want me to just talk about more defensive strategies or, or more strategies in general of just my time of playing fighting games, right? But other than that, this is Justin Wong. Please like, share, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.